What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Billy, aka Optimus, aka Slim Blade 2.0. Now, I've got something special for you guys today. I'm sitting in my garage of the new home for Slim Blade, and it's yeah, it's messy. It's just, it is. Okay, so it is what it is. But I'm holding a pretty sweet package. So this is recommended by a couple people. And well, you know what? DDM just happened to have a sale the other day and I had to pick some stuff up. So let's check out what it is. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I have a box here. Let's see what's in here. Paid extra for shipping, so. All right, let's see what we got. It's a small box, any guesses? All right. Make it easy, kid. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. You see it. Not many pieces. Let's see four screws we have a plate and we have the shifter that's right you guessed it short throw shifter that's what we're going to be installing today those of you who've never put one on or driven anything with one uh, well it's gonna be a pretty cool one today we are going to install this and i'm going to show you guys step by step how that happens. So let's get started. All right, guys, now we're sitting in the slingshot now and I've already got a little bit of a lower handle as you guys can see, try to get you in here. I've got a weighted shifter knob and then an aftermarket boot. So what it says you're gonna have to do, and I'm just going off the instructions that got sent to me um, by the guys over at DDM. So we're just gonna pull this up here. Okay. Uh, should not have to take the shifter knob, I guess I hope not. And then there should be a five millimeter Allen bolt right here. So let's start with that. Let's take this off. I have a five millimeter Allen bolt. Let's see if I can, uh, I can set you guys up here while I take care of this. So, all right, there we go. Shift the knob and boot completely off. So let me show you what we have now. So now, what we're left with is this boot. Now this boot comes off. Pull this off here. This boot pulls off. Now I've never installed this before, so I'm hoping I get it right. So, boots off, set that aside, and what do we have left? Well, we have four screws. Now, these are 10 millimeter each. So, let's grab a 10 millimeter uh, socket. Let's take it off and see what it does. All right, guys. Well, all four screws, so these bolts are out. Again, 10 millimeter takes them out. So, we're just going to remove this here. Set this off to the side. Now you're left with, a, there's a spring. I don't know if you can see this or not. There's a metal spring on top. That's supposed to be there. Just, you're gonna reuse a, a couple of these parts. Now, if you see, this will just pull straight out. There. Yep. And this is what it's gonna look like. Now it's covered in grease. So I have my little handy dandy rag here. Now, you're gonna be reusing a couple of these parts. So this part right, see if I can point to it here. All right. Oh shoot, hang on. All right, so you're gonna be pointing this piece right here and this piece right here with the spring as a spring. Let me see if I can get you a closer picture of that. Because in the directions, it's not very clear. So if you can see that little rounded piece of metal at the very top, that's a spring. So just make sure that that's attached still. So if you look down here, you're gonna see a couple of pins. So you're gonna see 
a pin on this side and a pin on this side. This is going to come into play in just a few minutes, so pay attention. So next, we're going to remove the two pieces that we need on here over to the new shifter. All right, let's check it out. One quick thing before we get started, and I just noticed this. So I didn't see it before, but in the base of this down here is another spring that matches the spring that's on top of this. Make sure that spring is flat. If you can, it's black, it's a black ring and it's just on the other side of those pins. It's hard to see, but there's another spring down there. So there's a spring in these two pins. Make sure that's there. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, guys. So here's what we're going to try to do here. This is the old piece. This is the new piece. And we're going to have to make, we're going to have to switch over these parts. So this piece has to come, these two pieces right here have to come off and go on to here. So let's, let's set you up here. Now I've been told there's a trick to this. So let me adjust my camera and uh, we'll see if we can make it work. Okay, cool. So this piece should just slide down. Should slide over. Okay, that's gonna slide. So this is off here. Okay, set that off to the side. Now, there's a trick to getting this piece off. And we're going to show you how that how DDM suggests that you do it. So give me just a second. They say use needle nose pliers. I don't have any handy, but I have the next best thing. So let's see if we can make this work. So what we need to do now is they said to put. All right, guys, I'm still trying here. I want to make sure that this pops off, but it's very, very tough to do. As they explained, I've almost got it. I've almost got it off of here, so I'm just gonna keep, keep moving at it and keep. Uh, Keep doing as he suggested by putting the wrench here and there we go and it's off so there we go it's off guys so as a recap I took a wrench put it here took an adjustable wrench so we would just catch the lip of the ring and force it off okay so on to the next step. All right, guys. Well, uh, after a little bit of clarification, here's what we're going to do. We're getting ready for the new shaft here for the pieces to be put on. So we have this white ring, and then we have this tube of just wheel bearing, just generic, uh, so you can see that, generic uh, grease. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this grease here, and we're going to Put it around the inside real good. Coat it real good on this white piece. So we're gonna get that in there. And you can pick up this grease anywhere. I got this at Napa, but you can get it anywhere. So got it all nice and, and lubed up here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this piece back on, okay, right over top. Now, if you notice, there's going to be a groove, a big U-shaped groove here and a groove here. And it's going to go, these are going to line up. So you're just going to press this back on. Okay, that's on. Make sure your spring is still good to go. It looks like it. Now, the recommendation at this point is to kind of see if I can get it is to spin this a little bit okay he said to 
spin it a little bit. He said it helps with the shifter. I'm gonna put a little more grease on this before we put it back in. But then we're gonna line up this U-shape with this here. There we go, it's gonna go with that. And then I'm just gonna put a little more dab of grease around here and on the ball to get that on. So now we have a straight up and down. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. Make sure that's lined up. And it is, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cap that we took off. Now, um, recommendations from DDM say to only put a real thin coat of grease inside this. Um, and the reason why is because putting too much will force these pins, these black pins outward, and it won't seal correctly. So we're going to wipe my hands off and we're going to pop this on, hopefully. Hope it goes back on a lot easier than it came off, but we'll see. All right, it's on. That, that, see all the pins are out now? We're good? That's good. So this is all grossed up. So now let's move on to the normal install, the rest, the rest of the install. All right, guys. So now we're in the home stretch. So what we're going to do at this point is this color came with hope I didn't forget it. So this collar came with the, the kit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to turn these notches to fit over top of the pins right here. Okay. So if you see that spring still in there, if you press down, you can feel it. All right, guys. Sorry for the break in. I just want to make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. So this adapter that comes with the short throw shifter looks like this. And the ring that I just put on was actually inside there. So you have to take that off. Now, if you notice here, the rings are up and down versus this rings being left to right. And that's okay. So once you put the inner black ring on, you're going to set this on top. You're going to line it up the way it's supposed to with the pins front to back. And then your shifter is, is going to have to be, if you notice, that's going to have to be level. And if you notice here that the cutout, the metal cutout as long and the white U-shape are going to be together. And then the bolt that hooks your um, shifter knob is going to be on the left. So if you look at it, look at, if you're looking it down, it's this way. So they said to kind of trial and error guys so I am going to if you notice here how I put this in that's proper now I just have to sink the whole unit in so it sits flush but right here if you guys can see it that ball hits anything it will not sit flush and I can't tell so I don't even think it, it went in that time flush it back out and you see here I believe there we go it is now in okay so it's and you'll know see it sits that white piece sits almost flush with that right here okay so let's put the screws back in. Now, these four bolts are provided and they are all Allen screws. Number five, the same thing you use to take your wheel, your uh, knob off. So let's put those in. All right, guys, well, I've got the plate back on. Went on with no problem. So make sure you put that. And I need to mention that you need to make sure that before you start all this, that the 
uh, machine is in neutral. So um, it's imperative that you know that it, it's in neutral. So I'll put this on my little boot here, kind of a protective piece, looks like. And now I'm ready to put my shifter knob on. So I'll slide this on here and uh, tighten it up. Let me see if I can turn this over here for you guys. We're done. Let's uh, let's go give it a test ride. Well, guys, we're back, and let me tell you, I couldn't be happier. Um, the only thing I probably would have done differently is maybe put a little more grease on that round plastic uh, to kind of smooth things out a little bit, but. And it shifts great um, and it reduces the distance that you have to shift by probably man I would say 50 or 50% 50 or more so if you're looking for a good cheap um, add-on to your slingshot a short throw shifter and a weighted knob you have to have a weighted knob for this to really make a big difference that's what everybody tells me go buy a weighted knob they're like 80 bucks um, and then buy this short throw shifter and I guarantee that you're gonna like it So thank you so much everybody for watching the channel if you like what you see, please click the subscribe button If you like the video click the like button it helps me and we'll get some more stuff out to you I do have a new podcast out me and my my boy Bobby have a podcast out It's called the Billy and Bobby slingshot shit show. I invite you all to check it out anywhere you download your podcast uh, Apple Spotify uh, I heart it doesn't matter that's where we're at go check it out if you also you can also find us at www.billyandbobbyss.com and hit us up on gmail at billyandbobbyss at gmail.com so thank you all and we'll see you next time